Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I just want to talk briefly with you about my 2021 reading plans. So I'm trying not to do a super strict TBR for 2021. I did that for 2020 and I failed it absolutely. I had so many other ideas and things I wanted to do. So I definitely didn't stick to the TBR. So this isn't really a 2021 TBR. It's just some goals or ideas that I kind of have that I want to use as a jumping off point for my TBR. <clears throat> so the first one is obviously my Goodreads reading goal. This year I set that goal to 100 books and I surpassed that. I ended up, well, it's still December, so we'll see, but um, 128 books so far. But a lot of those were poetry books and graphic novels and children's books, like picture books and things that I was reading for work. So <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be reading all of those kinds of books this year. So I'm going to set it at 100 and see what happens with, you know, all of my like regular fiction and things that I'm reading now. So yeah, 100 books is my goal and we'll see if I surpass it. Maybe if I surpass it, I'll uh, set it to something a little bit higher for 2022. <clears throat> All right, my next goal is to unhaul books. So I really struggle with this. I tend to not get rid of things, um, but I've just called a local used bookshop and they're willing to take donations for store credit. Um, so I'm going to be going through all of my books, both on my shelves and uh, in all of the various bins that I have in my basement. Um, and I'm going to take a bunch of books there so that I can kind of just start with a little bit more of a clean slate, not have so many books bogging me down. My next goal is to do some rereads. So I'm kind of thinking about making this a readathon. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. But I would really like to reread some of my favorite books from this year and from last year. So the first of those is Sex Object by Jessica Valenti. This is a memoir and I read this on audio like earlier this year, probably like February, um, and I really, really, really loved it. It was probably one of my favorite books <laughs> of all time. Um, it just was really relatable and, you know, in a sad kind of way, but um, very relatable. And I definitely want to reread this and annotate it, dive into it a little bit more um, and learn more about it. Next, I would like to reread Birds Art Life by Kyle MacLear. This is a memoir and discussion of the artistic process. And it was absolutely fascinating when I read it in January or February, I don't remember, but um, I definitely want to give this a reread and kind of get more out of it in terms of inspiration um, for the autistic process. I don't think I'm going to annotate this because it does have artwork throughout and I don't necessarily want to like muddy that up. But yeah, I definitely want to reread this one. And then these two, I really, really want to reread and annotate. So this is I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. Obviously, I read this in October, so it was very recently, but I'm already super, super hyped to read it again. So absolutely want to give this a reread. And um, if you know anything about this book, I won't spoil it for you, but if you know anything about this book, you know that in the last like couple of chapters, everything is revealed and it's a huge you know, twist and turn. So um, I really want to go back through and try to point out all of the clues that Ian Reid gave us um, and kind of annotate those. So yeah, definitely want to do this in 2021. And the last book I want to reread is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, which I read in 2019, the like end of 2019. But I listened to it on audio and I really enjoyed it, but I feel like I missed a lot because I was, you know, running around campus and driving and all this other stuff. So I want to actually dedicate the time to sit and read this book fully through and annotate it. All right, so another one of my big reading goals is to read some of my big books. So I am deathly afraid of large books. I used to read them all the time when I was younger. Um, I think, you know, the like YA fantasy genre um, has a lot of like really big books. And so you kind of get into that realm of large books and just go with those kind of series. But now I read, you know, here, like a collection of pretty, pretty small books. So I'm trying to read a couple of the big books that I do own and I'm actually really excited about. So the first one of those is Romantic Out Outlaws by Charlotte Gordon. And this is a uh, biography, it's a giant biography of Mary Wollstonecraft and Mary Shelley. 
So I took a Frankenstein course this past semester. Um, and so I learned a lot about Mary Shelley, but I'm really interested in learning some more about her and kind of diving deeper into that. So definitely want to pick this one up this year. The next one is A Cry Fest. It's A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, and I've heard I'm going to be absolutely destroyed by this book, so that'll be interesting for sure. But I definitely do want to dive into this because it is a very giant book, and I am very excited to read it. So yeah, definitely want to get to that one. And the last big books, or uh, the last of the big books, is probably the biggest one. It is Duck's Newburyport by Lucy Ellman. And this has been recommended to me multiple times. It looks really fascinating, but it is dense. Like the pages are, you know, all text throughout the book. Um, and it is giant. It is over a thousand pages. So this is going to be quite an undertaking, but I am excited about it. So hopefully I can get to this earlier in the year, get it off my TBR. Um, that would be great. So yeah, this one excited to read in 2021 as well. Another one of my reading goals is to read the last Shakespeare play that I have on my shelves. So I have a bunch of the Pelican Shakespeare plays and I have read almost all of them except for The Taming of the Shrew. So this is a really really pretty cover but this is the only one on my shelves I have not read yet. So I definitely want to read this though it is going to be a bit of an undertaking just because Shakespeare is challenging sometimes to get through, but I do want to get to this one. All right, my next goal is to read some more Shirley Jackson. So in 2020, I read a giant biography of Shirley Jackson, and I also have been chipping away at The Haunting of Hill House. Um, but I'm trying to take things a little bit slow because I know that she's not going to be able to publish anything else. Obviously, she's dead. So you know, I'm trying not to read everything at once and kind of spread it out because she is my favorite author. So I would like to read one of these or both of these this year. Um, they are Hangsman and The Bird's Nest. So this one I've had since last Christmas. This one I've just picked up recently. But these are some of her earlier novels and I'm really interested in seeing how they compare to her later novels because I've read We've Always Lived in the Castle, which is her last novel. So I'm really interested to see the comparison and how she's grown, you know, how she grew over time as an author. So yeah, definitely want to read one of those. And my last reading goal for 2021 is to finish reading all of my short story collections. So I have a giant collection of short stories, or at least I think it's, you know, pretty big collection. Um, and I've read a lot of them, but I haven't read these. So these are the ones I'd really like to get done in the new year if possible. So they are Mothers by Chris Power, which I know pretty much nothing about. I just love the cover. So yeah, total cover buy, but it sounded interesting when I read the description. And I feel like with short stories, it's really hard to look at a blurb of the short story collection and decide if it sounds cool or not, because there's going to be so much going on and you kind of have to look at it and, you know, read each story and decide if you like it individually. So yeah, but total cover by, I love this one, really excited to read it. Then there is The Dark Dark by Samantha Hunt, which again, kind of a cover by, but short story collections always have like really cool covers. So yeah, excited to read this one and I've heard a lot of great things about Samantha Hunt. Then I have The Secret Life of Walter Mitty by James Thurber. I have read The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, that, that particular story, but I haven't read the rest of them in this collection and it's very tiny, so hopefully I can get through it quickly, though the, oops, though the font is like tiny, so we'll see about that, but yep, that's the next one. And then I have uh, Homesick for Another World by Otessa Moshbeg. So I've read a couple of Otessa Moshbeg at this point. I just read Eileen and I gave it five stars. So I'm excited to dive into this collection of her short stories as well. And just very, very interesting cover. And the last collection of short stories I just randomly picked up in the bookshop when I was there recently. Um, had no context behind it, but it looked fascinating. And it is Animal Wife by Laura Ehrlich. And this cover is just like craziness, craziness, and I love it. Um, but yeah, this sounded pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of like a feminist uh, collection of short stories. And yeah, so I'm really excited to read that. Okay, so those are just my uh, 2021 reading goals, ideas, all of that. I don't know entirely if I'll get to every single one of these, given that I change my mind so many times about what I want to read. But 
Um, thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what your reading goals are for the new year, and I'll see you next time. Bye.